Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Exhibit Labeler Plugin, I'm going to show you an all new feature built right into Eclipse 11 that allows you to put exhibit label stickers on PDF exhibits. On my desktop here, I have a folder called Exhibits. And inside of it, I have a bank statement and a medical record. And what I want to do is use Eclipse to label those exhibits. And so I'm going to open Eclipse 11. And just for my own convenience, I've set up a file location under Settings, Programming tab, File Locations, that makes that exhibit folder easy to locate. And I have this set up as my attachment location. That way I can also then easily attach them to my documents. In order to use the Exhibit Labeler plugin, you first have to turn it on. It's going to live under the production menu and you see that right now there's nothing that says label exhibit. I'm going to go to support, plugins, manage plugins. I'll find exhibit labeler in the list and I'll choose enable to turn it on. Next I'll press OK. Eclipse will warn me that it needs to restart and then it will do so when I hit yes. Once Eclipse is closed, I'll reopen it again. And now if I go to Support, Plugins, Manage Plugins, Exhibit Labeler says Enabled. And if I look over on the right where the description of the Exhibit Labeler is, it tells me that it adds the command Label Exhibits to the Production menu. So that means in my Production drop-down menu, I should now have an option that says Label Exhibits. I'm going to close this window and I'll go to Production. And you see that indeed at the bottom of my list, I now have Label Exhibits and I'll type in whatever I want the header of my exhibit label to be. I'll put in the agency name. Next, I can enter the footer text. And I'll put what type of exhibit it is. Next, I'll go to my attachment file and I'll choose the bank statement. And it'll ask me which exhibit number it is. I'll choose exhibit number one and press OK. And I can place this stamp anywhere that is appropriate on the document that doesn't cover anything up. I'll left click. And the document saves a copy in the same place and then opens the adjusted PDF for me. So I now have my exhibit label sticker and I can close out of this. And if I go to that place on my desktop, desktop exhibits. I now have two bank statement PDFs. There's the original, and this original copy of the file does not have the exhibit label or sticker on it. If I close out of this one, I can open the other bank statement that says LBL at the end, which indicates it has been labeled. And now you see the exhibit label. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same thing with the medical records. I'll go to production, label exhibits, this one I'll label as a defense exhibit. I'll go to attachment and I'll select my medical record and press OK. I'll select medical records and press OK. And I'll label this one as exhibit two. And I'll place the sticker anywhere on the page where it doesn't obstruct the document. And now this document has also been labeled and it's ready to be attached to your document. And so I can open a sample file. I can press Alt N for print commands, choose attachment. And I can choose the labeled version of the bank statement. And I'll move down here, Alt N attachment. And I'll choose the labeled version of the medical record and press OK. So now both of these exhibit documents have been attached to my document and I can go to production output to PDF, make sure that embed exhibit files is checked and press OK. When the file is created, you see that there's a button for each of the exhibit files in the document. Additionally, in the content section, each of these files are available and can be opened or jumped to. And so I can open the medical record and I get my labeled medical examination. And if I go back to the PDF, I can also click to open 
the bank statement, and the labeled bank statement will also appear. And of course, if you use any of the delivery functions that include a PDF, then all of your attachments and labels will also be included. And so once again, all you need to do in order to label a document is go to Production, Label Exhibits, Tell Eclipse what the label header should be, and this can be anything you'd like. Tell Eclipse what the label footer should be, and again, you can format this in any way that you'd like. Tell Eclipse which document you would like to label, what the exhibit number should be, and then place your label. The label will appear clearly on your document, and this is all included in Eclipse 11 for free. You don't have to pay any extra PDF fees or label fees in order to do this. Don't forget that Advantage Software offers anytime support. Tech support can be reached with any question, anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.